Welcome back! Alright, so before starting recording, I actually bought a couple of items. Um, I bought um, enough oh, what was enough feed uh, so that I have 13 of each. Um, I also um, purchased some of the Holy Bone, was that what it was called? Uh, basically the thing that heals you, uh, free HP, so I figured that would be handy. Um, with good reason, you know. Just generally, generally helpful. Um, yeah, I think I'm learning that I'm going to need more ink. So I think ink is what I'm going to prioritize next. Whilst money is good to have... How much... Actually, how much experience do I have? I'm getting there. Uh, yeah, whilst money is handy and obviously good to have, I don't need it right now. Um, so... I'm going to go with the notion of... Uh, just, you know, prioritizing my ink for now. Wait, where'd my... Oh, I was going to say, where'd my sword go? Um, or my shield. Which I realize, actually, I think is my ink vials. Um, uh, but still, I was confused for a second. It was just like, it's gone! How'd I lose it? Was it the water? There we go. Well, we're here. Let's see what we've got inside. Apart from, you know, the probably the first boss somewhere deep in this dungeon. I'm expecting that at least. If I'm wrong, fair enough. Ooh, Agatha Forest. This cursed zone expanded into the forest. I thought evil would shun areas with so much grass and trees. There must really be some curse. The way it's changed the forest. Let's look at the map, shall we? Oh my god! Okay, yeah, it uh, it has cursed the land, like completely. Um, good. Uh, yeah, all right. This is amazing. Let's see what we got in terms of enemies, eh? Hi there. They are the same kind of enemies. Good to know. Doesn't mean they can't be defeated, though. In fact, it means they can be very easily. Um, oh, what did I get? I got something for my astral pouch. I didn't see what, but it was something, and I like it. Um, yeah, I don't know if these enemies will be any more powerful since it's a new area, um, or if they're just going to be the same. They look to be just the same, which is good. Um, I think I just lost one of my fangs. Oh, well, never mind. It happens. It's okay. Oh, no. That's not what I... Yeah, that's what I want. Bomb ya. Because that's the way you defeat enemies. With bombs. Boop. Thanking you. Well, successful trip. I enjoyed it. Thanks for the victory. Yeah, the forest is becoming a little bit, you know, ruined. Um, we can fix this, I hope. It's really pretty, though. This whole game is super pretty, which I'm sure you've noticed. Ha. It's such an ambitious game, though, because it's just such a weird... It's just weird. Like, it's it's such a weird experience to play, and it's got so many features as a game that you don't really expect, um, and I think would be genuinely super hard to to develop. Um, yeah, you'd hold... Oh, man, you don't want to go in there. Okay. That just flat-out hurts you. I suspect there will be a point where it sort of requires you to um to go into the darkness um but we'll see maybe not thanks for more uh herbs thank you game very generous you didn't have to what is this i don't know huh 
What's a house doing here in this cave? How could anyone live here with the cursed stone spreading around? I don't know. How does one free this? Uh, I did it wrong. Okay, how about a bomb, maybe? Probably not. I doubt it'll work, but... Yeah, especially since it's moved into the sea. Alright, cool. So let's assume it didn't work. Um, let's assume all of these good things. And just go into the house. Maybe I will learn a thing or three in here. Oh. Is this... Oh, this place is creepy as all hell. Is this how I'm going to... Like, synthesize things. Oh, stray bead. Oh, I guess that this is the way the game teaches you about it. Because there's no way to find them. Like, you wouldn't necessarily know about them otherwise. That's cool. So which, uh... Which bead is this? It is this one. There are six in the forest. That makes sense. Alright, cool. So this place is... Yeah, really creepy. Um... Okay. Yeah, I don't like you, but you give me food, so... <laughs> Yay, I guess? I mean, I know what I'm supposed to do, but just... Bear with me whilst I explore a little bit. Oh, what is this? Does it heal me? I think so. I didn't have anything to heal, but I think it would. <laughs> You've come, White Wolf, and you look troubled. You may call me Madam Fawn. I read bones to see the future. I know you would come, knew you would come. I saw it in a vision. Bone reader, Madam Fawn. It looks like the world outside is in great chaos. This is not to say that it was not predestined to happen. I'm so sorry, I'm yawning. However, this year is special. This is the hundredth year since Nagi and Shiranui's adventure. You saw the enormous cursed area on your way here, did you not? Land rendered barren, all who approach tainted by darkness. Only one creature possesses the power to control this. Orochi. Even so, the rate at which it spreads... Incredible. The curse can only be lifted by restoring the Guardian saplings. Perhaps you will encounter one hidden here in Agata Forest. That's enough idle talk for now. I'm trying to run a business here. Like I told you, I am a fortune teller. The bones reveal all. If you have money, I can even tell your future, Wolf. Interested? Sure, that's not much at all. <laughs> then let us listen to what the bones have to say, friend. Wah! It's coming to me. I can see it. In the dense and leafy forest, inside a cave sealed by rock, a part of the wood sprite waits to be revived. It waits for a holy bomb to break the cracked rock. I can't tell you any more for now. You'll have to seek out clues yourself. <laughs> cool. Handy. Alright. I will be back eventually. I stole a stray bead from you. Hope you don't mind. But no, that's... that. Again, I love this game. It tells you about the stray beads in a way you can't miss. Because the stray beads are collectibles, but obviously you can easily miss. But it just gives you one... Just to be like, hey, did you know? Did you know? There's a thing here. And I'm like, oh, I didn't. Oh, that's great to know. And then, yeah, now I got it. I I see where this is going. Another statue. Has everyone here turned to stone? Cursed evil. Am I supposed to run through the, the dark depths of the curse? Well, I got trapped. I failed. Okay, is there a tree that I can revive? Because if if not... I think you, you are supposed to run through it. I think the game is 
suggesting, yeah, maybe you should just leg it, mate. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's night time. Right, I was going to say, what just happened? What did I do differently? I walked up some stairs. Oh, how did that trigger anything? I love that it, like, sort of puts you on, like, the outskirts of the ring. So it's like, you were so close to escaping, and yet you did not. So well done, you. I've got the Devil Trigger theme in my head from Devil May Cry 5. I guess when this video is out, that game will be out. Uh, as of right now, it is not out. Um, but it's really great. Music is good. And down you go. There we go. Look at that. Loads of yen. Got my money back. From the fortunes. Alright, let's... I see a shrine. I saw a shrine on the map. It's like over here somewhere. It's not going to be enough, is it? No, it is not. I've not got enough time. Okay, never mind. I need to find a way to... To purify this land. To purify this earth. Is there a sapling tree I can... I'm not seeing one. The problem is, I haven't seen one in quite a while, so I've sort of mildly forgotten what they look like. Um, that is a downside, obviously. Yeah, I was wondering, like, is there just some instances where you're like, hey, just, just go through the, the curse. Because, you know, you can brave a certain amount of time. Maybe there is actually a part beyond which isn't cursed as well, that you can sort of just get to in time. But also, maybe not. Maybe I'm going crazy. Maybe I'm doing the wrong thing, as I tend to do. Okay, let's see. So, it did mention a crack in the wall as well. I didn't see one, but I could do, though. I think the, uh, the colour on the bottom indicates... Um, and someone may have told me this by now, by the point of this video, but I haven't seen it yet, if so. Um, but I think it indicates, like, uh, um, the danger level. Like, there's... There's a bunch of enemies, so... Um, or more enemies than usual. Um, or more powerful enemies, so it's red now, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> oh, look at that. So much money! Um, actually, I haven't really tried this. What happens if I try and slice you beforehand? Oh, you just sort of... Oh, you can stun them. Interesting. That is interesting, okay. Maybe for the future. I don't know if that really did anything to the enemy itself. It looked like it didn't do anything, per se. Like, the enemies didn't seem to be stunned or anything when I entered the room. Maybe I'm wrong in saying that. Maybe I missed something. Okay, I didn't even see you. <laughs> Two fish! Right, you, you can try and kill me, but let me just show you a bomb. Oh no, that can't be good. I mean, it was alright. It worked. It did the job. I want your money, though. I want your money and your ink pots. I need to remember that I do have a dodge. Because I can use it. I, I have that right. Boop. There we go. I keep seeing buildings and I'm like, is this how I'm going to synthesize these shadow fangs or whatever? I, I mean, I'm assuming I synthesize the shadow fangs. 
That's the thing, I'm assuming this. I might be entirely wrong. That's the beauty of it. Could I go across the water? Still looks like a danger zone. There is a cave over there. There's no way this is going to work. And yet, here we go. Hear me out. <laughs> hear me out, this is not going to work. But hear me out. It totally worked, okay. Well. I may have trapped myself. Maybe not, actually. Maybe I found the way to go. Hello. I totally have! Oh, yes! Oh, yeah! Sometimes I work things out. To be fair, I don't think that's particularly easy to find. <laughs> if you don't know it's there, that isn't the most obvious thing to do. But every great game has a secret behind the waterfall! Yeah! Or an actual main objective. Who cares? Secret, waterfall, happiness, me. That's what matters, right? Sure does. My happiness is very important to me. Maybe not anyone else, but me? Yes, absolutely. I did it. I, I cured the place. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, nice bout of experience as well. Ooh, devout beads. A new divine instrument. Guarded by a guardian sapling, eh? Wow, Zaki is going to spoil you at this rate. Anyway, this is going to make your life a whole lot easier. The monsters are going to try to get you any way they can. So you need to equip a good divine instrument and practice with it. But remember, there's more than simply equipping them. They can be equipped as a sub-weapon or a main weapon. A weapon's effect will differ depending on how it's equipped. You can even pull off some secret techniques with your sub-weapons. Even after your 100 year nap, you remember that much, right? I know you're not too bright, but I swear, no thinking involved. Just try and equip the new divine instrument as a main weapon. Alright, so here it is. Hmm, rapid attacks. Oh, a rosary! Oh, and this is how I can buy the rosary thing at the dojo. Alright, that's uh, main, I guess. Um, sure. Got the hang of it? Well. Oh. Let me give you an example. You know that mirror of yours? Well, it acts as a shield when equipped with a sub-weapon. If you're under attack, press triangle to guard with it. You should test that on the monsters in the area. Oh, and one more thing. You remember what Saki said, don't you? The sacred tree in Kamiki Village will bear a guardian fruit each time a guardian's happening is revived. Make sure you stop by Sakuya's tree whenever you return to Kamiki. Yes, I was going to. So I can now guard with triangle. Interesting. We'll try and remember to do that. Thank you for the experience! Do, 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 do. 